Rocket launches are nothing new in our days, especially given how commercial space companies like SpaceX are discovering some of the most advanced reusable rocket technologies in the industry to lower the cost of launches for paying customers, together with NASA and the private sector. But although most of us get to see the rocket burn its engines and fly high into the sky, one thing that's often ignored in the process of getting the rocket to the launch pad in the first place. How do these enormous space scrappers get transported? First of all, SpaceX's Falcon rockets are produced in Hawthorne, California. With the vast majority of rockets launching in Florida, you'd be right to expect that SpaceX's rockets have a long trip ahead of them before they ever get to the launch pad. The distance between these areas is almost 2,500 miles. That's right. All the components that comprise the Falcon 9 rocket travel to Florida on large semi-tractor trailer trucks. The Merlin engines are exclusively sent to Texas, where they're subjected to inspection and test firing before getting back to Hawthorne. After everything is checked and working, the engines are joined to the first stage, and the fully assembled first stage takes a ride to Florida atop a 44-wheeled trailer. The Falcon 9's second stage, with all its landing gear, is carried separately via different trucks. The logistics are carefully timed to guarantee that everything gets to the destination promptly. Once coming to Florida, the second stage and landing gear are connected to the first stage, after which it's brought over to the launch pad and lifted horizontally where it can be prepared for launch. Back before the Falcon 9 rocket days, NASA used combinations of air, road, and sea travel to transport rocket components from different parts of the country to Florida. Barges carried the first stage, while transport planes and monster trucks carried the smaller pieces. As today's reusable rockets are so much thinner and more road-friendly than NASA's Saturn V, road travel has become the most suitable means of transporting components. 